So as we all know, this year in 2023, we didn't get a new Pokemon game. So instead of that, we got the Scarlet and Violet DLC. And I have a few theories as to what the next Pokemon game will be and when it might possibly come out. Also quickly guys, once I hit 10,000 subscribers, I'm going to be giving away a $20 eShop gift card that you can use on your Nintendo Switch. So all you have to do to enter is subscribe, comment down below, letting me know that you did that and like the video. So recently there was a Nintendo Direct just a few days ago, which gave us a glimpse of some of the upcoming Switch games. And I know that this Direct had nothing to do with Pokemon, but just hold on, I'm going to get there. I have a point, I promise. So actually, after that direct a lot of people online were talking about how they think that could have been the last direct for games for the switch or maybe like the last direct that's solely based around the switch and maybe the next nintendo direct will announce the next nintendo console whatever that might be you know the switch 2 maybe they're gonna call it something else no one knows of course um so the next direct is expected to be around like early 2024 maybe like march february around that that range so let's just say, for example, that this was the actual last Direct that's completely based around the Switch, and the next console was announced for the next Direct, and the next console was going to release next year at the end of 2024. Once again, this is all theoretical. I'm not actually claiming this, I'm just saying this for an example. Will there be another Pokemon game on the Switch? So a small figure that I have is maybe we're going to get a brand new Pokemon Legends game early 2024. So a small theory I have is that we're actually going to get a Legends game early 2024, which kind of would make sense because it would release either around or before, right after the Nintendo Direct, meaning it would kind of be one of the last Pokemon games or the last Pokemon game on the Switch before the next console is announced, or maybe the Nintendo Direct or Pokemon Presents will announce the final Pokemon game for the Switch in late 2024. Let's just say that the new console comes out 2025. That means next year could be the last year for a Pokemon game on the Switch. Or will we even get a Pokemon game in 2024? So another theory that I have is like, let's just say that the new Switch console, Switch 2 or new Nintendo console, whatever you want to call it, is announced to come out in end of 2025, which is kind of what I'm thinking more so than 2024. I feel like it's going to release around like November of 2025. so right before Christmas time. Uh, let's just say that. And the Pokemon game... And the Pokemon company recently said that they're going to slow down releases of Pokemon games, basically just to give us better games and slow down production time because they've been hauling. You know, they've been releasing a ton of games recently. They want to slow down production. So let's just say if a console comes out 2025, 2024 could be kind of a gap year for Pokemon, Nintendo, or Game Freak, whatever. It could be a gap year so they could take time off, figure out the best way to make an insane Pokemon game for the 2025 release of the new console. Because a brand new Pokemon release for a brand new console would be great for them. It would be great for sales. It would be great for the Christmas holiday season. It would definitely boost the sales of the new console like crazy because Pokemon's the biggest franchise in the world. So people are going to buy the new console if there's a brand new Pokemon game on it, especially if the graphics are great and it's just like a really thoroughly well-created Pokemon game. I know this all sounds like a stretch. These are all just theories. It's all speculation that I've come up with. Nothing is confirmed. I could be totally wrong. They might not even release a new console next year or the next or the year after that. They literally could keep the Switch around for another two, three years. Who really knows? But I feel like this is kind of where they're headed because the Pokemon company did claim that they're going to slow down production. So in my head, instantly, I'm like, okay, that kind of makes sense because I think it was the year 2015. It might have been 2014. I can't remember exactly which year. They took a break. There was no Pokemon game. There was nothing that year. and um, But they took their time to slow down releases. And so I feel like they might do that again this year. I would be a little disappointed if we didn't get like anything Pokemon related in 2024. But I also would kind of understand at the same time. If it's for the best and it means we're going to get a better quality Pokemon game. Just like imagine a brand new Pokemon game. Generation 10. Oh yeah. I didn't even mention that. Generation 10 is the next generation, so maybe Generation 10 will be in 2025 on the brand new console, or probably 2026, realistically, but we will, I guess we'll see. But imagine a Pokemon game with insane graphics that correspond well with, like, the original graphics, you know, like, nothing too far out there, but nothing too similar to the DS or Game Boy era, and, um, that doesn't have FPS drop or lag. Like, wouldn't that be great? I feel like that would be worth a year gap. I mean, it's kind of two-year gap if you think about it because this year we only got the DLC, which isn't that much. Like, realistically, that's not too much content. Yeah, it's another probably additional 15-ish hours with the with both of the parts combined, I'd say. You could definitely expand that out longer, but, I mean, at least we got something this year. In a way, it's almost like two years of no new Pokemon releases. That That's kind of why I think they're going to do a Legends game early 2024. 
but nothing's announced, so hopefully they announce something soon. And the next Pokemon game, I don't really know what it's going to be because and a lot of people want gold and silver remakes for the Switch, which honestly, I'm all for that because I'd love to play gold and silver again. I think I've only played silver once, maybe. I don't even think I've beat the game, honestly. I never played heart gold or soul silver, which I really want, but they are so expensive. So, but heart gold and soul silver are one of the best Pokemon games like ever produced. So it'd be kind of cool to get another gold and silver on the Switch, but also it's kind of unlikely because it's already a remake they've done. So they're probably going to do remakes of black and white next. I don't really see them making a remake of a remake or a game that's already been remade, but it would be cool. I personally also kind of think in 2024, they're going to port over all the Game Boy and some of the DS games, maybe like Generation 1 through 4 possibly onto the eShop so we could digitally download the games for hopefully like $10 or something. That's another theory that I made a few months ago. I feel like that's very likely too, because that's not too much work. They're gonna have to like upscale it a little bit, you know, kind of make it better. You know, that's not too much work. They're definitely gonna have to, you know, port it over. I mean, that's not too much work because all they're gonna do is really port it over. They did it with the 3DS. The 3DS had, you know, I think generation one through three on the eShop. So it wouldn't be unlikely because we don't have anything on the eShop for the OG Pokemon games on the Switch, which is wild. And the 3DS eShop closed this year. So it'd be kind of perfect. They're going to still get sales for the old generation games. I personally would probably buy at least maybe all of them. Who knows? Generation 1 through 3, or even 4 in my opinion, are probably the most replayable Pokemon games. So it's like everyone would probably buy them. It would be a very smart move too because it would give the consumers like something to, something to enjoy. And especially like all the fan favorite games. It would at least give us something if there is a gap year with Pokemon releases. And I feel like it would be like the perfect year literally the perfect year to release ports of generation one through four onto the switch if we don't get a game in 20 in 2024 let me know what you guys think about that though i personally would be all for i personally would really love if that's what they did in 2024 rather than get a brand new game because we've we've really had so many pokemon games in the last two years it's crazy more than we ever have i think in the span of pokemon as a whole company and I mean, there's also been a lot of like controversy recently or leaks, I guess, of Pokemon Black and White remakes or Black and White 3 or like an open world Black and White game. I don't really know what is real. It's hard to tell with leaks because some leaks are real and then some leaks never come into fruition or, you know, like I know that the uh, lady from the new Scarlet and Violet DLC is from the Unova region and bridge the Pokemon and the Pokemon, I can't remember his name, like Bridgeton or something like that. He looks like a bridge. Is that like a reference to black and white? It kind of seems like it in my opinion. I don't know. Maybe black and white remakes are next for 2024. I mean, I would love that. I think Pokemon black and white are great games. It's probably my favorite Pokemon generation, but I'd also be open for like an open world Unova region game. I've made so many videos about that. I'm trying to I'm trying to cool down with, you know, Pokemon black and white stuff because I've probably made like seven videos about Pokemon black and white remakes, black and white three or Legends Kiram or Legends Unova, whatever. I've made a lot. So the hype is kind of over with that. That really took off in like, august and july and stuff a lot of people are talking about that but let me know what you guys think is going to release in 2024 for the pokemon franchise personally i'm optimistic like i don't really know if we're going to get a brand new game i don't know if we're going to get a remake i'm curious to see what you guys think though make sure to leave a like subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video